We're ready. Ah, oh, ah, oh, the groove. Look, look, look at that. How am I gonna, how, oh, wait, how about that? Oh, the best amateur show on Raleigh Cable Access. Yes, yes. Oh, how you doing? So, uh, so Carol, I'm gonna ask you a question, Carol. Oh, hi, we're live. It's Wednesday, eight o'clock. We're live every Wednesday at eight o'clock. Um, they rerun the show. Tonight or tomorrow at midnight, Carol, I forget. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. And then uh, um, Friday at 11, they rerun the show. And then Carol puts them up on YouTube. If you search what, Carol, what's your keywords? Monkey Time Raleigh. Monkey search Monkey Time Raleigh. And you'll see me at my best. Ah. <laughs> OK. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, and Todd always puts up the Twitter page and uh, some Twitter links, some tweets. What do they call them? Tweets? Ah, so stupid. Such a stupid medium. Future generations, okay, monkeys, you ready? Future generations, two things, two things. One, future generations gonna laugh that we had to type in our instructions to the computer one letter at a time. <laughs> I'm serious, why are you laughing, Carol? It's true. It's true. Future generations are going to laugh. They're going to be like, they had to type, can you believe that crap? They had to type in their instructions to a computer one letter at a time. We just have to blink. Well, I can't quite blink, but you know, we just have to blink or, uh, you know, uh, um, uh, think with our cerebral left cortex neuron number 272, and then the computer will pick it up. They're going to laugh at us letter by letter, they will say. It's like us when we go back down and look in the past and be like, oh, they had to use cans and string if they wanted to send an email, you know, like that. So anyway, that's one. What was the other one, Carol? Um, oh, yes, future generations are going to laugh at us for Twitter. They're going to laugh. What? <laughs> you had, what? Yeah, yeah, you had the whole web. You, you could do pages and pages of commentary, and you could edit yourself, but you allowed someone to put an arbitrary 140 character limit. They're going to look back in 2,472. You're going to, your kids, look at your kids, parents out there. Look at your kids. Your kids, the kids in 2,472, they're going to read this in the history books and be like, what? Two, 140? What? Teach, teacher, you're, you're pulling our legs, our four legs, teacher because we're going to have four legs. They're going to have two real legs and then two robot legs. They're, they're going to be like, no way, teacher. Pull my other robot leg <laughs> in 2,472. Oh, unless, of course, Art Pope stays in control, Carol. Then we're not going to make it to 2,100. Oh, God, we are so screwed. Um, so let's talk about the filibuster. That's all up in the news. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to get to that. Oh, no, stop. Seriously, stop. Take a deep breath. Look in my eyes. Look in my glassy, non-blinking eyes. Let's tilt our heads sideways, OK? Take a deep breath. Take another one. Did that feel good? Doesn't that feel good? Come on, Art. You can do it, too. One more, one more. Close your eyes. Oh, that feels good. Just that, Carol. Just that, and their week is better. God, y'all should be paying me big Boku bucks. I just, you know, that's why you pay $60 for a massage therapist. Oh, that feels so, just breathe, you damn monkeys. Just breathe. OK, so um, what were we talking about? See the spiritual stuff? It takes you right out of the real mundane world. What are we talking about? Berries? I want to talk about berries. Filibuster. filibuster. Oh, before the filibuster, we got to talk about, um, yeah, the filibuster. If you go to my Twitter page, there's a link to a Washington Post article where, that, that demonstrates very clearly that Harry Reid, even though he's going to be gone soon, Carol, he does not want to reform the filibuster. 
He wants to tweak it a little bit here and there. He's got some huge ultimatum to, to uh, what's his head, McConnell, that's supposed to, you know, but one of the things that he's threatening is to make the, the side doing the filibuster bring 41 votes to the floor. Right now, the majority has to, they want to reverse it. The majority has to come up with 60 votes and only one person can sit on the, the Senate floor and filibuster. Harry Reid's nuclear proposal is just to flip that, not even to make them sit there forever, Carol. He doesn't even, Harry Reid won't even make the people doing the filibuster stay in the room. That's the key. Yeah. You want to keep filibustering? Stay in the room. That's how it's been done. Instead, Harry Reid's worried about preserving the filibuster when Democrats aren't in power. But Democrats never use the filibuster as horribly, as awfully as Republicans have over the last four years. Carol, the statistics are insane. Insane. Republicans have used the filibuster a gajillion times 200 million times. I'm not lying. I'm not exaggerating. A gajillion times 200 million compared to everybody else. You think I'm lying. They think I'm lying, Carol. They think I'm exaggerating. A gajillion times 200 million more times than any other use of the filibuster in any Congress in memory, in history. It's true. And instead of addressing that, Harry Reid's like, well, in the future, the Democrats may be out of power, and they may want to use the filibuster once or twice, so we better not change it too much. Ah! So stupid. Go nuclear on their asses, Harry. Gee, many Christmas. Jumping Jehoshaphat. Moses on a stick. Give me another one, Carol, that I can say on cable access. Jesus on a cracker? You see how the lesbians do? Do <laughs> you see? Jesus on a cracker. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that kind of works. You're not supposed to say Jesus, so Moses is okay because the Jews don't care. <laughs> Whatever. Hit your hand with a hammer and say, Moses. No one's going to complain. <laughs> no one's going to be like, oh, you're taking Moses' name in vain. <laughs> no, we don't work like that, the Jews. Oh, anyway. Although that's not true, Carol. The Jews, those fundamentalist Jews in Israel, they get pretty crazed. Yeah, they're pretty damn crazed. But what was I talking about? The filibuster. So Harry Reid is tweaking and tweaking a little bit. Oh, we got to do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Instead of really just killing the, the, the ability to use the filibuster the way the Republicans have been using it. Hey, Carol, what they wanted to do, Obama got elected. The Republicans in Congress and the Senate, the House and Senate, said, we're going to stop him every which way. He's going to be a one-term president. That's what they said. They said, just stop him, just block him. And so the Republicans in the House and, uh, were, were blocked more legislation. They haven't uh, um, let his nominations go through. The, the Republicans in the Senate have filibustered more than any other Senate in US history. Seriously, more than any other Senate in US history combined, all of them. Just the threat, and Harry Reid and the wimpy Democrats let him get away with it. That's what their strategy was for the first four years of the Obama presidency. He'll be a one-term president. Let's get rid of, you know, just block him. Ha, he's back. And now, what, what, what are they going to do now? Oh, uh, uh, maybe we should work with him a little bit. And so he comes out in the inauguration, Carol, and says, hey, I'm kind of liberal on a couple of issues. Not drones, not torture, not prosecuting whistleblowers who, who, who blow the whistle on torturers and, and waste and fraud in the government. No, he throws them in jail. Obama's not a liberal, y'all, on a lot of issues. But Obama's going to, you know, you know, he mentions gay rights, and we're all supposed to, like, look the other way on the fact that he's killing Pakistani and Afghani children with drone strikes, more than Bush. And that he prosecutes whistleblowers, more than Bush. It's crazy. But anyway, so he comes out and makes a few liberal statements, gets the liberal crowd creaming their pants, and the Republicans are like, what? 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 How dare? Oh, he's not being conciliatory. Oh, you've heard this, right, Carol? They're all freaking out that he didn't come out and say, well, for my second inauguration, I'm going to say the same damn crap that I said at the beginning of the first one before you guys blocked me for no reason on everything. He says, uh, I'm going to be a little more liberal now on a few issues. And the Republicans are like, oh, give me the smelling salts. Oh, oh, I'm feeling, here, let me do this. Oh, I'm feeling faint. Oh, I need those little, uh, I, need, I need arms, Carol. I need the arms. Okay, we're going to do the arms. 
Coat hanger, a couple coat hangers. Oh, speaking of, look for the abortion restrictions to come out of the North Carolina legislature. Okay, so Harry Reid doesn't want a filibuster. He's lame, he's stupid, he's short, he's thinking, he thinks he's thinking long term, but he's really thinking short term. Protect, you know, the immediate future. Ah, all right. So, um, oh, and Obama is such a good talker. Oh, yeah, God, is he a good talker. We'll see how he does. But, you know, he's such a good talker. All right, so here's what's happening. Helping frackers lie, what's that mean? That means that fracking, the fracking industry, which is a new technology that has not been studied, not been tested, they're actually blocking tests to see. They're blocking tests to see if injecting under high pressure all this mix of chemicals and then pulling it out and then what do you do with all that water mixed with chemicals, Carol? Oh, you dump it somewhere. Are there laws about that? Are there laws about how you get, what the chemicals are? Are there laws about how, how close to ground? No, there's no laws about how to deal with this new technology. No laws. And the frackers want that. And in fact, they are saying that you don't even get to know what the chemicals are that we're injecting deep into the ground where your groundwater is. And the EPA is not even studying groundwater contamination because, you know, well, we can't get anybody to really drill the, drills, uh, drill the wells for us. The drilling industry, Carol, is not letting, is not giving the EPA a chance to drill so that they can see if these chemicals are leaking. I swear to God that's true. That's why the EPA has dropped the requirement in their studies that they actually drill down and see where, this, this, uh, um, see where these chemicals are going. They can't get the drilling companies to help them. Jiminy Christmas. Can you believe that? So we don't even get to know what the chemicals are. The fracker's like, oh, those are trade secrets. Bull crap. You're injecting it into the ground. It's a new technology. We need to know. And North Carolina, Art Pope, Pat McCrory, they're all just going to go, yay, fracking, yay, yay. We're going to be undoing the damage of this legislative session in North Carolina for decades to come. That's Art Pope's plan. But really, you know, where's, where's, what's his name, Neil, uh, what's his name? The one, the one who dissed, what? Yeah, Neil Hunt. Neil Hunt, the supposedly Christian one, right? Steward of the earth. Yeah, steward of the earth. Where are you, Neil? We don't even get to know what the chemicals are, Neil. They get to inject this stuff in, and we don't even get any studies at all, Neil, about how this stuff, if it does, whether this stuff gets into groundwater after a year, two years three years? You're just going to approve this crap, Neil? Yeah, way to go. You're the Christian one, right, Neil? Right? Neil Hunt? Yeah, yeah, you're the, you're the one who cares about God and God's creation, right, Neil? Yeah. All right, Neil, why don't you just rubber stamp fracking? Don't let us see if there's any, don't let us study if there's any leakage of these chemicals. Oh, and God knows, for goodness God's sake, for Jesus' sake, Neil, don't demand that we get to see what those chemicals are. Oh no, that's too much. But even if you block the, the release of the chemicals, not even studying it, Neil, before we do it? Come on, steward. <laughs> Can I do that again, Carol? <laughs> ah! <laughs> the, right, the right wing, the right wing Christians yeah, yeah, they're the worst. Um, no, Neil, come on, let's bring out the best of Neil Hunt, everybody. Clap, pray, pray. Neil, we pray to you, our God, the Christian one in the legislature. Neil, please think twice. Oh, they're doing so much. All right, anyway, Wells Fargo, uh, where were we talking? Oh, in Pennsylvania, did you hear about this, Carol? This, this kid? This kid holds up a sign in front of Wells Fargo. I'm, kidding, I'm, not, I'm not lying. I'm not lying. He holds up a, two signs in front of Wells Fargo. One sign was like, one sign was like, you're being robbed. And the other sign was like, give a man a gun, he can rob a bank. Give a man a bank, he can rob a country. These are good, solid slogans, Carol. These are good, solid slogans. You're being robbed in front of a bank, and the, and the cops arrested him for terroristic threats. 
Like he was saying to the bank, I'm robbing you. Oh, come on. <laughs> That's just wrong. And give a man a gun, he can rob a bank. Give him a man a bank, he can rob the country. Come on. They arrested him for making threats against the bank. When they should be arresting the people at Wells Fargo for all those mortgages they bundled and sold and combined and spun around into these credit default swap bull crap. I said crap, Carol. I didn't mean crap. I was thinking not the other one. All this bull crap, thinking the other one, that Wells Fargo and other companies spun these bad mortgages into, they made it so much worse. Most of the blame is with the banks. If you go to my Twitter page, there's a link to the front line yesterday. I don't have a TV, well, I have a TV, Carol, but it's not connected to anything. <laughs> How do I explain that? Somebody call me up. How do I tell people my TV doesn't even get local PBS? I can't even watch my own damn show. How do I explain that, Carol? What do I say? I say my TV is a DVD player, right? Yeah. My TV is a D what? My TV is like 800 years old. It can't get that. I can't use a little antenna to get the local channels. It just doesn't. It's not connected to anything. If I don't have it hooked up to Time Warner cable, which I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get anything. So I just use it as a, mo a monitor. It's a DVD monitor. So anyway, what was I saying? Why did I bring that up? Frontline, PBS. God, you people are so scatterbrained. PBS, Frontline, there was a thing last night about why nobody got prosecuted for the mortgage fraud. People at the top who bundled these bad loans into things that they told other people were like, oh, no, these are great, these are great, until they became so ridiculously overvalued, they didn't even know how much they were on the hook for. That's what caused the collapse, not the people at the bottom. All right, so what are we doing? Um, um, Filibuster, women in combat. Carol, tell me what you said about women in combat. This is good, monkey. Yeah, was torn. She was torn. Carol says, I'm torn. We need to get you a microphone. But, okay. She's coming out. Women are capable. This is good, monkeys. This is good. This is why I like Carol a lot. She comes up with these things I don't think about. She says that it's good. Women in combat, they can fight just as well as a man. You would say that. <laughs> women, God. <laughs> I, know, I know some, yeah, yeah, she's like, I know some mean women. Yes, true. Women can fight just as good as men. But here's what Carol brought up. She's like, when you get captured, and women will get captured, the torture for women is going to be much worse than the torture for men. Rape is what you're talking about, Carol, right? Yeah. yeah, lots of rape. Much more rape than you would get with men. I'm sure that happens too, but you know, the torture, the use of rape as a, as a weapon has been happening all over the world. It's because of that damn bloodline thing. They all think that their country and their blood is better than somebody else. So they use rape as, a, as an aggressive weapon. Ooh. That's a, that's, a, that's a good thought, Carol. It gives one pause, as they say. I have pause, and that gives me pause. It gives me more pause. Oh, brr. Tough thought, Carol. Tough thought. That's what I like about you. Carol's tough. She's a tough thinker. So did you hear about what happened in Virginia? In Virginia. This is how Republicans do. This is what we're going to see. God, y'all, 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 y'all. We don't even have a clue how bad it's going to get in North Carolina over the next two years. We don't even have a clue. Art Pope's plan? Oh, man, you got to, you got to. Art Pope is just, he's like, oh, there's all these personal attacks against me. I'm just an ordinary good citizen. Yeah, up yours, Art Pope. <laughs> up yours. We know exactly who you are. You've got a long-term plan. We're sitting here, Carol. We're getting high. We're watching really cool movies. I watched this really awesome Mario Bava Italian uh, horror thing from 19, uh, 1964, 60, 1960, I think. Black Sunday, you ever seen this? One of my coworkers turned me on to it. It's one of the first uh, Italian horror films that really kind of like wow, wowed everybody. So, you know, I'm sitting around, I'm drinking my liquor, I'm watching Italian horror films from the 1960s. Art Pope is planning what he can do next. 
That's the difference, monkeys. That's how bad things are going to get here. You and me, this is Carol. Can we put up the one about in the streets? You and me, we have to make some serious decisions. We have to make some serious decisions right now, today. Let's do it. We got what? Five minutes left in the show. Let's do it right now. Think. OK, OK, first deep breath. Ready? Ready? Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. <sighs> Once more. <sighs> Don't get to smoke in your lungs, Carol. <laughs> I hear you coughing back there. <laughs> no, no, no. I, can't. I don't even do smoke, man. I don't even do smoke. I'm a little asthmatic monkey. So here's the thing. What will it be, monkeys? They're, going at, they're, they're, they're releasing all, these, this, all this charter school stuff's going to happen. They're taking all this power out of the local school boards in North Carolina, mainly at, to get the power away from the Wake County School Board, which they're mad at. Art Pope's mad because the Wake County School Board took his, the, the election took his Wake County School Board away from him. So what they're going to do is they're taking all this power about land decisions and school building decisions away from the local school boards into the legislature. Think about that. Republicans are supposed to be about local control, right, Carol? Decentralization, get the feds, get the central government out of our pockets, let local people make the decisions. What are they doing, Carol? Because of spite and ideology, they're taking local control away from the Wake County School Board and other school boards and giving it to the legislature. Stupid. Can we put up that one about the um, ideology? It's there somewhere. That's how they do. It's stupid, anti-business, anti, it's even anti-Republican at this point. They don't care. So go back to the other, Carol, if you don't mind. You have to decide what's it going to be. The driver's license thing for immigrants? What if they go after abortion on a big level? That weird plan for getting rid of, you know, becoming one of the few states that's changing its tax system so that poor people pay more? That's what they're doing. Sales tax? Please. You think the luxury sales tax is going to go up, Carol? Oh, the extra luxury, the, the, the tax on luxuries for rich people? Oh, no. You know who's doing this plan? The Laffer Curve guy. This guy's from the 80s. This guy's from Reagan era. Oh, trickle-down economics? That's the Laffer Curve guy. Completely debunked. Completely debunked. And that's the ideology Art Pope's bringing back down to us here in North Carolina. He's trickle down his pee on our heads, Carol. Trickle down, pee on the poor people's heads. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that little rain of drops on the poor people's heads. Oh, that's great. That's Art Pope. So the question becomes, take a deep breath. What would it take? What's going to get you out in the street, monkeys? Draw your line now. Draw your line now. Oh, we love these people, by the way. These are great people. Really great people. Oh, White Rabbit Books is out of business, Carol. They're in Charlotte, I think. I, I better update that one. I should put, I should put the, uh, the Deep South place that does these nice, friendly open mic nights on Tuesday nights. If anybody knows any good open mic nights, let me know. Send, it, send me a tweet, tweety, tweeter message, something like that. So the other thing, Carol, about the driver's license, how much time we got? Two minutes. Two minutes. Give, me the, give me the one about the um, anti-business, if you don't mind, please. I love these businesses. These are good businesses. These are all really good businesses. Yay! Oh, Grizzlebees is still there. Does anybody still get that joke? Anybody still get the Grizzlebees joke? Shout out to Grizzlebees. Somebody gets it. Go Google Grizzlebees. <laughs> see, what, see what comes up. You'll be happier. Oh, yeah. So this immigration thing? Uh, uh, listen, what they're doing is kids who were brought to America before they were 16 years old, gone through high school, gone through college, some of them, want to get driver's licenses, and, the North, and Obama's federal, the federal plan says, yeah, we're going to give you some, some two years of worth of amnesty. And during those years, they want to work. 
Can we put up the anti-business one, Carol? They want to work and drive to work legally, and instead of letting them do that, the idiotic Republicans, the ideologically driven anti-business Republicans in North Carolina are going to stop them from taking classes, getting certified to drive, and driving. Remember, these are kids who were brought to the country before they were 16. Many of them are college grads and high school grads. They want to work. Come on, Art Pope. The libertarians are supposed to be in favor of this crap. Why don't you rein your people in? Pay taxes and all that. Yep, pay ta Oh, they already pay taxes. But why would you not let them drive to their jobs? God, they're so stupid. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. All right. Can I just say this, Carol? Bring here. We're going to come back. Bring, bring, come up on me here. No, no, yeah, yeah, there we go. Blackberries from Mexico are in season right now. I know we're not supposed to eat fruit out of season. They're so good for cancer monkeys. Let them sit outside. Let them get soft. 